Hello, hello, hello. Dark episode for February the 27th, uh, the day before the end of the month is what it's called. And I'm a guy who just turns on my camera on my phone and talks into it and then uploads it to YouTube where God knows what will happen to it. Um, well, to this, not too much. Um, I made a little video just before I went to work, which is why I review books, which was part processing of the class hotel, but also part just like, oh, I really enjoy doing this. I really enjoy finishing a book and then having to formulate my thoughts about what I thought about the book, or how, what, what I thought about the book, how the book made me feel, how successful I thought the book was. I don't know, but it's been a, it's, I think it's been a process that's helped me as a reader. Um, may not be any smarter, but maybe I'm getting better at expressing where I am at the end of a book. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, so I made that video. I might actually put it up on my main channel if I watch it again and don't think it's just a the video. I don't know. You never know what's going to be, what's going to resonate with other people and what's just like, okay, dude, that's fine. Um, just a really tossed off thing. And, you know, I was just thinking about that because that's sort of what I do on this channel uh, in the dark is just kind of ramble through, talk, think about things. I'm listening to the Thousand Movies podcast where he, I think, does very specific scripts. He is not uh, the fellow who is the host of the, the Thousand Movie podcast who is turning 30 and is obsessing over turning 30. Um and uh, also his bread consumption, uh, because he he's a he's also a waiter at a pizza restaurant, or actually a bartender now at a pizza restaurant, and um, and I he's he does I I really enjoy his much more sculpted um, pieces, and you know there's a reason why people actually subscribe to his podcast, whereas I'm doing this on my own as sort of more journal diary entries, unedited, unmediated, other than, you know, I think it, it comes out my mouth, it goes into my phone, I upload it. Um, and I don't think I'd want to be him. I really enjoy him uh, in that he's not talking about books. He's just talking about his life. He's had this whole thing about working at a pizza restaurant and just sort of a part of it is just, Hey, I'm 30. I used to be someone who was super ambitious, wanted to be the great American author or something like that. I don't control what his main goal is, but now it's like, well, I'm a guy who works at a pizza restaurant and I'm actually kind of happy doing that. Um, and, you know, having my creative outlet on the side of stuff that's probably not going to make me money, um, that I'm going to be writing for a much smaller audience. Um, but I'm, I'm creating on a smaller scale, maybe more realistic scale, but I'm, I'm kind of still fulfilling myself. And, you know, I'm actually, he's actually enjoying being in the service industry, which, you know, I can't help but think that kind of resonates with how my own life is of <laughs> at one point I probably did have illusions of wanting to be a great you know professional writer who, who lived on my writing um, except I hate actually showing anyone my writing which kind of you know got in the way of that ambition uh, of crippling self-doubt and you know probably also just not having the chops to be a, <laughs> be a professional writer and have the hustle uh, much less the talent. Um, but I, uh, you know, finding myself as a support worker, um, making a difference in 
people's lives. Um, being actually like, hey, I'm okay with that. And I'm okay um, being not a writer, but a videographer. I don't know what the hell you call this. Someone who does, you know, talks about books on the internet for no money. <laughs> and, you know, if I do write stories, they're basically stories for myself or for, you know, whatever I can find on Literotica or, or wherever else uh, my particular niche of, of, of stories that I seem to seem to go back to writing all the time, but isn't really something that's, um, you know, anything I still have any desire of showing anyone. Um, yeah. Yeah. So it's just, and, and, this guy's made a podcast, which has a small audience. I don't even help him financially, but I feel a strange connection to him. And like his podcast means something to me. And I don't know if people have said, told, I've had feedback, which I have to, I guess, accept as, as thing is as, as a couple of people saying like, Hey, you know, thank you for your Mars reviews. Those actually kind of helped me through the pandemic it was a nice thing to to listen to um to get me through this stressful times which is quite oh. awesome quite awesome okay i need to go rescue the doodle from whatever she's growling at more videos later <laughs>